How's it going guys? My name is Charlie Thompson and I am the founder and owner of Apozlo Studios and today I have brought you guys a tutorial on Pscale. So we're going to go into the Houdini setup that I've created to show you what I have made and then we'll go and start from scratch. So as you can see, I've just added a couple of spheres to a copy point node and yeah, that's what I've got so far. You can go in and randomize the rotation and the scale. So let's get straight into this. Um, let's just delete that one. So as you can see here, this is a simple setup. That is literally everything just to create this. Um, it's very simple. Once you know it, it's you can go and use it on multiple different things like a particle simulation and so on and so forth. So as you can see, I've just added the box in. I've then gone in to add a point from volume, which if I just keep going down, um, just changes it so you got points inside the cube instead of just on the outside surface. Uh, I've added a bit of a randomizer uh, to that seed as well. Um, then I've gone in, added a attribute wrangle to create the P scale. Um, to then add in, in a attribute randomizer for the scale and changing it around so you've got different scales. Um, you'll see towards the end anyway. Um, and then I've done exactly the same, but to the orientation of the um, points. So this changes the rotation. So let's go straight into this. We're just going to add in the simple nodes, which is sphere and the box okay lovely um what we're going to do first is add it in the point point from volume uh, you don't have to put this in it's just so i've got more points inside it's just just for the tutorial really so um yeah we've got that as you can see they're not very randomized so we're just gonna randomize up a little bit just like that. We're also going to change the separation. So we've got less in there. More time to go through everything. Um, next up is the attribute uh, wrangle. Lovely. This is to create the P scale. So I'm just going to rename this. Put in P scale. Okay, so the little bit of um, vex expression here is at p scale. Oh, at p scale space equals space, uh, and we'll do 0.1 colon. Lovely, that's simple for the p scale. Uh, next up, we want to add in the attribute randomize. So this here will randomize the scale of the p-scale. At the moment, uh, if we connect this up real quick, oh, just like that, you can see it's just using the color and we don't want to use that. So we're going to change the attribute name to um, scale because that is what we want to change. Um, best thing to do here is now add in the copy. Um, two points so we add the first point over to the sphere which is what we're going to need and then the second one to the randomizer but as you can see now if i go through each one of these so that's the points from the um point to volume to then go into the p scale which is just the size of that so if i changed this to one it just go back up to the same size so um, yeah, we just change that to that. So it's a little bit smaller. Then we add the copy to point to the randomizer. That randomizes the scale, as you can see. Uh, what we can do is we can change this to polygon, get a little bit more detail in there. You can obviously change that to like a little bit more higher density, um, frequency, sorry. To add a little bit more detail, uh, nothing major. Um, this here guys you can add absolutely anything you want uh, you can even go in and add a, uh, a tube grid whatever um, but for this purpose of the tutorial we're just going to use sphere so 
As you can see, we've done the attribute scale and the randomizer for that. Next, what you want to do is add in the attribute ra um, rotation randomizer as well. So we're going to go in, we're going to add a wrangle, attribute wrangle, place that into this. And so I'm just going to copy and paste this over and talk through it. So here you got in the attribute um, orientation and that basically equals the randomizer to get each random point uh, from the cube into the point from volume. So if we add that on now, uh, you'll see that it changes the rotation. Nothing too major, but you can leave it like this uh, if you like the rotation on it. But if you want to add in a randomization for the rotation, so you can go in and you can change the seed, you can change the how far they go around, uh, whatever. You can go in and add in another attribute randomize. So we're just going to put that straight on there. And we'll view that for a second. Again, this is doing the color. We don't want the color. We want this orientation. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that in. And then you can obviously change the value. I'm just going to view that now. And you can change the uh, scale, the global scale. You can also go in to options and change the global seed. This is exactly the same for the attribute P scale. Um, and yeah, you can change the uh, global scale of it, make it smaller, make it bigger. And you go in and change the global seed. So yeah, simple stuff, guys. Uh, you can now go in and add in a particle simulation if you wanted to, uh, changing it for the box. So what we'll do now is we'll just quickly go in and I will just set up a quick particle simulation and I'll be back to you straight away. Okay, so um, I just quickly went in and I created a simple particle emitter. Uh, nothing too fancy, just uh, the presets and just added a gravity on it and it's now flowing downwards. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually change each one of these points to the sphere and we're going to have a, a random rotation and scale on them and that is very simple same method of what we've just done all we're going to do is we're going to change the box to the emitter and then view the points so for this as you don't actually need to add in the points from volume we can then delete that and just bring this in i wasn't right about that so we leave that at oh at 0.1 so here if we just go back there you go the point from rotation you could also go in and change it so um you can add like um, you could change this so it changes the rotation as it goes through so you can go in and keyframe it so a uh, little bit of code just type in dollar F and we'll do oh, plus 10 sorry there you go but as it goes through it'll, it'll change the rotation ever so slightly uh, as it falls down but you can also do that for the scale as well but um, anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and comment if you're struggling on anything else um, that I can help you with. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.